Hello everybody! Today I got an interesting inflatable free review for you guys today, and this is on the 8 foot long uh, Jemmy Halloween 2006 boo scene. So, pretty much what this inflatable is, is a, it's a scene of three ghosts next to a boo sign with uh, orange, purple, and green lettering. And what's nice about it is that it has an interesting feature that doesn't say on the box what it actually is. Should I, t should I reveal what it is? I think I'll reveal to, to you guys what it is right now. This has fading lights technology, so the C7s fade in and out. So the so what it basically does is that the C7s uh, fade in and out. It's got a controller in there, and uh, it basically controls the lights to to uh, to fade in and out, and also fades at different speeds, which is pretty neat. I'll show you guys that soon. So, anyways, this is the box. This was made in 2006. You can tell it was made in 2006 by the bats. And here's the side of the box, and here's the back of the box. Nothing too particularly interesting about it. And it also says 2006, see, Gem Industries 2006. A little blurry, there we go. So yeah, I'll quickly go over how I got this guy. So, this inflatable, um, my, fr my good friend Josh actually helped me get this inflatable, which was very nice of him. So, basically, we, we uh, found a lady who was selling this for 20 bucks. This thing is pretty much in for uh, yeah 20 bucks. So what we so uh, we con so he contacted her, but unfortunately he didn't really have the money to buy this thing. So I ended up getting it, but I had trouble paying her on my end because the because the technology was being weird. So she ended up lowering the price for me because of the uh, because of the uh, issue. But yeah, so she basically sold this to me for 15 bucks shipped. Not not 15 shipped, 15 bucks plus shipping. Which is a really good deal for this thing. I'm very happy to have it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. Now I'm going to show you guys the inflatable itself. Here's what the inflatable itself looks like. As you can see, it's in pretty much brand new condition. Um, of course, it's been taken out of the box, obviously. And it isn't, it isn't like in perfect condition. It, it's in very good condition, but it isn't in perfect condition. The main reason this inflatable isn't in perfect condition is because where the C7 to the orange B is, it's a little bit heat damaged over there. But other than that, this thing's in perfect shape. So yeah, it has the 2-inch blade shit fan, and it has 5 C7s. Uh, one in the left ghost's head, one in the orange B. One in the middle ghost's head, which is a blue C7, and the one on the on, and that one there has a green C7, and then it has one C7 in the green O, and then it has a red C7 in the uh, ghost on the far right. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is what the inflatable does: the lights flash in and out, and it has a little controller by the fan where these fade in and out. It's kind of hard to see on the camera because it's daytime, so, but you can still see the C7s on camera though. But yeah, you can, but yeah, you can kind of get an idea of what the lights do. And as you can see, they, they fade in and out at various speeds. So it starts off slow, and then eventually they get fast, and then they slow back down. So that's basically what this inflatable does with the fading C7s. As you can see, they're starting to pick up speed. And they're getting flat. They're getting faster. So as you can see, they're flat. They're they're fading in and out really fast, and then they're gonna become slow again. And now they're slow. So yeah, now so yeah, just it, it starts slow, then goes fast, and becomes slow again. So that's how the uh, fading C7s work on this inflatable. Pretty cool technology. So yeah, with the two-inch blade shit fan, as I call it. Uh, the, the ghosts inflate okay, but this inflatable doesn't inflate like super duper tightly. I think it's mainly because of the orange bee. And I'll show you on camera. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is a bit heat damaged over here. Like it isn't like completely shot, but it's just this section here. Just this, just that orange section there that's shot. The rest of the orange is a-okay on this inflatable. It's just on that part, that's it. And as you can see, it actually uses the boo lettering to inflate the ghosts, and the ghosts aren't connected to each other. Well, they kind of are because the two hands are stitched to the one ghost, then to the middle ghost's head. 
But other than that, uh, the inflation goes through the boo sign, and, and that's how the ghosts inflate. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah. So there, there isn't anything too much more to say about it. I guess if you want, I can show you guys it from the back. The fan is on the far left ghost. So that's where the fan is. And then this is what it looks like from behind. Nothing too special from behind, but you can kind of see the C7s better. The, the red, blue, and green C7. Yeah, those, the, the green and uh, blue C7s don't actually light up that brightly on this one. Like, they light up, but they, they're, just, they're just not super bright. But yeah. But overall, it's a pretty good inflatable. And I'm very... For, I'm, I'm really looking forward to using this in my display this year. So this one is not getting traded away to Josh. Um, like some other inflatables that I've been giving to him recently, pretty much. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the boo scene. Now I have owned this inflatable before. This is my. This is actually my second one. But my. But my first one. Uh, my first one I got for free. But that one uh, was a bit beat up, and it was very faded, and it was decently worn out. So uh, it was. It was a little too beat up to uh, use. So, I'm very thankful that I got this one, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the boo scene. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. It does have Tefer attachments on the bottom there, and I don't think it has them on the bottom of the ghost. It does not have them on the bottom of the ghost, so the only other, so the only Tefer attachments you'll get for this inflatable is the stake base, the two Tevers on that ghost, and the one tether on this ghost. There's one tether attachment where you can put two tethers on it. So yeah, it has one tether attachment there, one tether attachment here, and then it has the and it has it by the base. But that's pretty much it for this boo scene. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.